Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today it is going to be about my pregnancies since I have a boy and a girl. Since I have a boy and a girl, I feel like I'm not saying I'm an expert or anything, but I can tell you about the differences I felt and like the differences between having a boy and having a girl or having a girl first and then a boy, which is how I did it. Well, not did it like if I had a choice, but how it happened for me. Um, I got pregnant with my daughter at 19, at 18 going on 19 and at first I was all skinny and everything like that like I wasn't always fat not like it's a problem but having a girl at least I heard and experienced having a girl makes you gain weight more I'm guessing at least for certain people or relatable if people had that happened to them like it happened to me because I was 135 before I got pregnant after I got pregnant I got to 235 so I gained a whole hundred fucking pounds like I gained a whole other person <laughs> getting pregnant. I know you're not supposed to do that. Oh, you're eating for one, not for two. But you know what? If a bitch is hungry, a bitch is hungry. And especially when you're pregnant. You get twice as hungry and you got cravings up the ass. So, yeah. Um, for when I was pregnant with my son, I lost weight. Like, I was worried about his health, kind of how much I lost weight. Like, I've never seen under, since I've gotten pregnant with my daughter, I've never seen under 200. I'm always, like, I'm at plateau at 209 now. And when I was pregnant with him, I got down to 194 to 192. And I was scared because it was just like, I couldn't, like, I still can't lose weight as fast or something like that. And with him, since I couldn't eat, I was worried that he wasn't getting that nutrition and he was going to, like, starve while he was in my stomach and shit like that. But I started getting weight because I had to be put on medication in order for me to eat. Like, if I wasn't on that medication, I wouldn't be able to eat at all that whole pregnancy. Um... Uh, Pain-wise, throughout, like, my body during pregnancy, having my daughter, everything was perfectly fine. Like, I was able to enjoy that pregnancy until, up until, like, the end, which is common of pregnancies, is towards the end, your body starts to ache, your back, probably, but that was for me, like, my body was achy. Um... I would swell so fast, like I would walk for like in 30 minutes, and my feet would swell, my thighs, um, my hands were swollen, um, what else, I know my rings, my wedding rings were tight on me then, and then after, for my son, since I lost so much weight, like, I had to get my rings resized, like I was... The rings before, they were a seven, and I got down to a five, five and a half on my rings. So, I lost a lot of weight. And they fit perfectly now, which is obviously good because I'm not pregnant anymore. But, for him, pain-wise, I was in the worst fucking pain. And probably more so because after I had my daughter, I went to... I was having a lot of back pain still after I had her, and she was like a year old maybe, year and a half, and I was still having like back pains, and I just, I couldn't sit in the car, ride long and stuff like that, so I ended up going to the doctor, and they went and told me I had to go see a physical therapist, so I did that, and they said my lower lumbar, four and five or some shit like that, um, they are out of place. 
so I was doing therapy and stuff like that. And the first thing he told me was, if you get pregnant again, it is, your pain is going to be way worse than you've ever had it on your back. I guess since, obviously, your pregnancy is rough when it comes to your back, I guess. I don't know. I would figure it's more so your organs, but whatever. Um... And he wasn't lying about that. He wasn't at all. Because my pregnancy with my son, I, I'm pretty sure the first, like, it's like first it was me not being able to eat for, like, the first couple months. And then from then on, it was just pain when I was able to eat. So it's like, it was either I'm not eating and I'm worried, or I'm eating and I'm in pain. So... That's how it was the whole pregnancy, pretty much, because I couldn't sleep on my back, obviously, because when you're pregnant, most people, you can't sleep on your back. Um, I couldn't sleep on my side. I was having heartburn up the ass the whole time. Um, it's not so much that I was swelling, because I wasn't really swelling. Um, it was more so my back and my pelvic area. Like... I was in pain, I couldn't walk, like, I was soon, like, supposed to be bedridden, only because it's just, like, I couldn't bear the pain, and I couldn't be able to get out of bed sometimes, like, it was rough for me, like, to the point where at 37 weeks, I told my doctor I need to be induced, it was either 37 or 39, um, because I needed to be induced, because my pain, I couldn't take it. I didn't want to be induced, only because, obviously, that's forcing you to go into labor when your body needs to naturally go into labor, and, I don't know, I felt kind of bad for it because I didn't want to put him through that either, um, but I just, the pain, I have low pain tolerance, and obviously going nine months, eight months, and having to deal with that throughout the whole thing is crazy and I wouldn't wish that pain on anybody like I was so miserable I didn't enjoy my pregnancy how I was supposed to um with my daughter it was so easy to enjoy my pregnancy because I wasn't in so much pain like we did belly casting for when I was pregnant with her to mold the belly and for him I didn't do that like, I wish I did, but probably sitting down for how, how long did it take? Probably, like, two hours or maybe more to do that casting. It would have probably killed me. Like, not li not literally, but it would have been really rough for me. And I know for him, like, I just pretty much made things because I wasn't able to, like, do castings and stuff like that so instead I was just doing little craft things like I made his homecoming shirt that had his little name on it and a uh, teddy bear and I was making my baby shower pins myself um because I made some for me my daughter my husband and the grandparents because obviously they're going to be there so I made them baby shower pins and I just pretty much did that, and from then, it was okay. Um, Cravings-wise, um, for my daughter, what was I craving? Oranges. Oranges, chicken nuggets, and quesadillas. Um, for my son, craving-wise, Um, at first, I couldn't eat meat for a good, like, six months. Like, I went straight vegetarian kind of shit. Like, I couldn't eat steak. I couldn't eat ground meat. I couldn't eat chicken. All I can have was, like, veggie sandwiches. And, like, I would go to Subway. I'm just like, ugh, I can't eat that. I can't eat that. Can you just do some vegetarian shit and mix some stuff on it? Like, I couldn't do that. Um... And then towards the end of the pregnancy, that's when I started craving um, Spanish sandwiches. So, I was able to eat steak then. But at first, 
um, throughout the whole pregnancy in general, I was eating, well, when I was able to eat, I was eating watermelon and strawberry cake. That was my shoes knit. Oh, and s'mores. So, um, I don't know. I think it was more so sweets when it came to my son. But I've heard that with girls, you eat sweets or something like that. I don't know. But either way, that was the difference between that. Um, for both of them, they weighed... I know my daughter was 8'7", and then my son was 8'6", for 8 pounds and 6 ounces, and my daughter was 8 pounds and 7 ounces, and they were just about the same in height, but it's just like they physically looked different, like my daughter looked fatter, and then my son looked skinnier, so that's what was kind of funny. Um... Uh, what else about it? Um, more so now, like, as they grown up and the difference comparisons between the boy and the girl. Like, my daughter is so smart. And she was talking by one years old. She was already talking, saying so many words. And my son, he, he doesn't even, he doesn't care to talk. Like, he knows his normal, like, mom and dad kind of stuff. But if you tell him to say hi, like, he ain't going to say hi. He'll just roll his eyes at you. So I feel more so like he's more chill and my daughter was more outgoing and lively. Not saying he's not lively. Like, yes, he laughs and stuff like that. But he's more so serious and she's more hyper. And... I feel like she takes after me because I'm a little out there, a little hyper when I want to be. And then he takes after my husband, which is quiet and chill and anger problems. <laughs> so he takes after him because he sure expresses his emotions. Even though he's not a talker, he will let you know if he's mad because he'll start smacking. And if he wants to to be carried he will cry and reach out his arms and obviously if he's happy he's going to be smiling and laughing and giggling like crazy so um yeah that's pretty much the differences there was nothing like drastically changing about anything I know I never because I know some people have weird pregnancy cravings no, like I didn't eat peanut butter and pickles and shit or ice cream and orange juice. I don't know. Some weird pregnancy shit. No, I didn't. Um, so it wasn't like I didn't have those weird cravings of, oh, I got to wake up at four o'clock in the morning to get me this and get me that and wake up in the middle of the night. No. Like, I would have dreams about food, that was about it, but I wasn't like, oh my god, I need to wake up and have it, which was good on my part and on my husband's part. Like, he was lucky he was able to sleep. Um, but yeah, nothing drastically was, like, more on how people put it out there. Like, oh, pregnant people are crazy. Yes, we're crazy, we're emotional, but for me, I wasn't that different. At least I don't think so. Um, yeah. So, that's it, you guys. And thank you guys for watching. And stay tuned for my next one. Because I post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So, bye, guys.